Hi guys! Today I'm going to do a video I've been meaning to do for a while. Let's talk about signs that you may be asexual. Now, disclaimer before we start, you can experience every single thing on this list and still not identify as asexual spectrum. That's cool. You could identify with nothing on this list and still identify as asexual spectrum. That's also cool. It could also be that you experience a lot of things on this list but that's due to sex repulsion rather than being on the asexual spectrum. Again, that's cool. So, let's go. I'm going to give you 15 common signs you might be asexual or asexual spectrum. You never quite got over that thing where people thought sex was icky when they were little. Sex related plots in TV or film annoy you or make you bored or irritate you. You feel like people are lying about how much they want to have sex or when they describe sexual attraction you think they're being a little bit over the top about it. Sex is just meh to you. You've never wanted it but you've never disliked it. When you hear the definition for terms like grey sexual, asexual or demisexual you find yourself wondering that isn't everyone just like that? You can only see yourself having sex with a theoretical or maybe literal close partner. Heavily sexualized environments like clubs make you feel out of place or uncomfortable. You feel nervous about having a relationship because you feel like sex will be expected of you. You feel like you never bloomed. You can only think of one or two experiences that could classify as sexual attraction, if any. Your relationship daydreams all feature non-sexual intimacy. You have trouble understanding the term sexual attraction. Other people finding you sexual attractive weirds you out. You've considered remaining celibate forever. You clicked on a video called Signed You Might Be Asexual Spectrum. <laughs> okay, and in the case of that last fact, real talk, if you're someone who finds yourself looking up an identity because you think you might be that identity and you start looking up that identity in lots and lots of detail, there's a good chance you do relate to that identity in some way. Only you can actually decide if you're asexual spectrum. If you watch this video and think, oh shit, that's me, I've put some helpful links in the description, including a list of asexual spectrum terms so you can see if you can find one that fits. That's all from me. Bye guys.